would really suck if I put all this effort into this and it didn't even work. <laughs> Ahoy there, and welcome aboard the bottle ship. I'm the captain of this vessel, and today I thought that perhaps I would turn things down a little bit and talk about image transfers. Now, there are plenty of how-to videos on YouTube showing you how to do an image transfer, and they're all pretty much the same. One thing they don't describe, though, is how to transfer a color image onto a dark surface. Yes, when you're transferring onto a whitewashed wood or a light-colored wood, it works great. But when you're trying to transfer to something dark, well, your colors will be all muddy. And your whites? Forget about it. There are no whites. I have come up with a new method for getting an accurate color transfer, even if your image has white on it, like this moon and these stars will shine through. Yes, here's what I've come up with. You have your transfer medium, your gel medium. In this case, I'm using Mod Podge because Mod Podge is readily available and a heck of a lot cheaper than other stuff. The problem with Mod Podge is it dries transparent. So your whites, well, they become clear. And then you'll see the wood beneath, which in some cases is great, but in some cases, oh, it is sad. So what I've come up with is perhaps mix in a little bit of white acrylic paint. This will dry white, leaving you with full color print. And to demonstrate the effectiveness of this technique, I will be doing two of them. One with the white paint mixed in and one without. Yes. All right, let's do this thing. Now, I could not find any of my brushes. So I'm just going to use a cloth. Oops, I forgot to open this. It's brand new. Uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to just put some of this on here like this and just now the image that I have is slightly smaller than the surface area of this wood piece so I don't need to cover the whole thing only part of it what's that? I don't know I'm just something comes out I'm going to this I'm going to get all the areas Maybe they have my brushes, but it's much easier. I'm also sorry I'm talking about that here. Unfortunately, in this situation, yes, I can't help myself. This is true. This is what makes it up. If that is the case, and you are watching this in slow motion, perhaps you understand. If that is the case, you should type. When I find out, it's fine. Just a few people. Don't watch this in slow motion. Because I promise. Why would you watch a video like this in slow motion? Please don't. You are mad. You want to make sure that you get every area covered. But not too thick. Don't want to drown the ink. Now. Place the image on it. I'm actually going to do it upside down to make this easier on myself. Got this rolly guy. I'll go over it a couple times with this. Now this is the real technique here. Just make sure we get all those bubbles out of there. Say bye bye bubbles. Bye bye bubbles. Get the hell out of there, bubbles! Sorry, I had a moment of aggression. Then we will set this one aside and move on to the next. This one is going to be a mixture of acrylic paint. And Mod Podge. I'm just gonna make a uh, oh my god. I'm just gonna mix it on top of this. I'm going to put some on here and hope it's enough. Oh, that should be enough. Since I'm just experimenting, I'm going to do a 50-50 here. I'll just use this to mix it all up. And now we wait until morn. Come on, Mr. Bubble. Yep. 
I have now traveled through time at a rapid 60 minutes per hour to arrive at the next day. Now we are going to remove the paper. To do that, we're going to need some water and water. We're going to start here. You simply spritz some water. Not too much. But this paper's kind of thick. It's not the best paper to use uh, for this. Actually, it is probably the worst paper to use for this. As you can see, it worked. But the moon, which is supposed to be white, looks more like Jupiter, which is kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Uh, these spots are where I had bubbles. I uh, did not get all the bubbles out very well. Nah, that's just uh, the nature of it. All right, on to the next one. Well, what do you think? Oh, this. This turned out lovely. You can see the image here with the boat and the moon. This is the one that was just the Mod Podge. The paper I used was too thick. That is why I have bubbles. You're supposed to use as thin paper as you can, but I already had these prints done and uh, they were just leftover prints. This I didn't need. Let's see how my technique worked out. Oh, would you look at that? It's in full color. Yes, I think it's safe to say that that looks much, much better. Again, there's the uh, areas where there's there were bubbles where the uh, paper wasn't fully adhered to the uh, thing because of the cardstock, but uh, other than that, I think that looks pretty darn good. Now, you might be thinking, oh, why can't I just paint the wood before I put the paper on there? Well, you could. I think this is easier and better way to get a more even color. And also, uh, you have the option where you could actually just paint over the areas where you want there to be white background and the rest of it you could just leave so you could have the darker areas we you know with the wood showing through with the lighter areas uh, not that's you know personal preference and there you have it i personally wouldn't hang either of these on the walls there's there was too many bubbles uh, but this was just a demonstration so you know whatever i'll probably end up sanding these off and using them for something else but absolutely worked. <laughs> so, in summary, if you want to see the wood in the background, well, you just use the Mod Podge. But if you want to see colors, you have to use the Mod Podge and some paint. Yes, turned out very nice. That was really loud. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed... I hope you've been Messy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do the subscribing thing and dangling the dingling. Good luck on all the things, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more. Check out one of the videos on the screen now, and most importantly, have a fantastic day. Bye bye.